before we get to our last game, which is the Monday night game, Miami against Louisville, if you want to get free plays right to your cell phone every day, text to you from Jim Feist. You can go to the JimFeist.com website, top right-hand corner. Just fill in that box for free text plays. You'll get them sent right to your cell phone every day. Just text WINNER to 313131. And make sure you subscribe to Jim Feist's YouTube page. It's called Sports Betting. And just do that on the link right above us. It's free. And you'll get... You click on that subscription link, you're going to get Jim's daily updates on team previews, free picks. You're going to get ProLine, all direct from Las Vegas, and it's free. Okay, on the Monday night game, we got Miami playing against Louisville, and this is actually a rematch. The very last game that these teams played that meant something, uh, they played each other. That was December 28th, the bowl game, and it was a one-sided route as Louisville whipped uh, or to Miami 36 to 9. That was the Russell Russell Athletic Bowl. Here for this rematch, we got Louisville at home to open a two and a half point favorite. Now three and a half, and the total has gone down with respect to that Louisville defense from 54 and a half to 53 and a half. The big story, though, Sean, is that we have a new coach at Louisville. Charlie Strong was a defensive specialist, but now they have Bobby Petrino, an offensive mind, in. And this Miami team got five starters back on offense, seven on defense, but Really, the question is which Miami team we were going to see. A year ago, they started 7-0, and and they finished up 2-4 and four straight up, 1-7 and seven against the spread. John, how do you see this one Monday night? Well, actually, I think this is Petrino's second stint here. He was at Louisville about seven years ago, and he's back for a second term, and you took some of my steam out because you're right about this bowl game last year. This game is a home game for Louisville. Line open three, went to three and a half. I've seen it bounce back in your right total about, what, around 53 and a half. Interesting, Louisville is now in their fourth conference in 11 years. Now they're going to play in the ACC in the Atlantic Division. These teams met, as you mentioned, John, in a bowl game last year, and it wasn't even close. Louisville smoked Miami of Florida 36 to 9 as a five and a half point favorite, and it was pretty much wire to wire. I don't know that revenge is worth anything this early in the season, but obviously Miami of Florida isn't going to forget that. Listen to some of these numbers. Louisville last year, 12 and 1 straight up. They were just 6 and 6 against the bookie. They do have seven starters back on offense, but no Teddy Bridgewater. Now that is a big loss. In fact, in my opinion, the loss of Teddy Bridgewater to Louisville is much bigger than Johnny Manziel is to A&M. Just four starters back on defense, so they're thin. Head coach Bobby Petrino now returns to Louisville after seven days away. So this is his, or seven years away. Excuse me, seven years away. So this will be a second stint there. Miami of Florida. They're in the Coastal Division, so it is a conference game. Head coach Al, Go- Al Golden is in his fourth year. Miami of Florida, 9-4 and four straight up, but just 4-8 and eight against the number. Last year, seven starters back on the offense. Quarterback Morris is gone. And that wide receiver, Hearns, who set a Miami of Florida single-season receiving record, he's gone. Seven starters back on defense. It's tight, home energy. I, I don't think Louisville blows them out like they did the last time, but what's really different, maybe just uh, the different coach coming back, I don't know he's going to make up, what, uh, 25 points there. I, I don't think they blow them out as bad, but if I had to play this game, I'd lay the three and a half with Louisville. I, I see probably about anywhere from a 10 to 14 point win late. Okay, Jeff, uh, a lot of turnover we've seen here at, at Louisville. I mean, the three defensive line starters are gone. Sean mentioned Teddy Bridgewater off to the NFL. Bobby Petrino takes over. I mean, a great, off a great season, but that's a lot for a program uh, to deal with. Yeah, uh, but both teams have uh, some issues here. And Miami's going to be starting a true freshman on the road, Brad Kaya. Uh, he's uh, 6'4", 212 pounds, but he, was, he wasn't even at spring practice because he was still in high school then. So it's always a tough situation when you have a true freshman starting uh, against a, a really good team here on the road. Uh, Louisville is in the, AC, they're in the ACC now, which is good news for them because they're 12-0 and against the spread the last 12 games against ACC teams. Uh, this, uh, this week, run, running back Michael Dyer is, is uh, questionable with a quad injury, but he was lower on the depth chart. Uh, L.J. Scott and Dominic Brown will be the running backs. Uh, wide receiver Devontae Parker is doubtful with a foot injury. Uh, defensive back Jermaine Reeve is out with a knee injury. So Louisville has, does have some injury problems this week. Sophomore Will Gardner will start. He has some excellent receivers to throw to. Uh, Kai Dela Cruz, Matt Milton, uh, Michael Lee Harris. But uh, only four returning starters on defense, and the defensive backfield is really thin. Uh, and especially with Reeve out. So that's going to be the big uh, concern with Louisville. As far as Miami of Florida, besides that uh, two freshmen, uh, Kaya beat out Jake Heaps. He was the former quarterback of BYU in Kansas. He's 23 years old. Uh, uh, 
Duke Johnson's back at running back. That's, that's a major factor because last year when he broke his ankle, they lost four of the next six games. And the defensive back, Ray Sean Jenkins, he's out for the season with a back injury. So both teams have injury problems here. Uh, the def- uh, Miami, Florida has two defensive starters uh, on the line returning, and they have a potential All-American linebacker, uh, Denzel Perryman, and a solid secondary. But in this situation, uh, with the, the Louisville lane three and a half points at home on a Monday night uh, against a freshman quarterback, I- I'll definitely go with Louisville. As a matter of fact, it's going to be my best bet on the show, Louisville, John. Okay, very good. Uh, I can't see a lot of offense uh, on Monday night. You guys mentioned the quarterback situations. Miami has seven starters back on defense. They did lose Rayshon Jenkins in the secondary, but it's a secondary that used a lot of guys last year. So there's a lot of experience. And Miami also lost offensive lineman Malcolm Bunchy went off uh, to UCLA. And finally, that bowl game that you guys talked about, Louisville defense, they held Miami to just nine points and 174 total yards. Louisville on a 10-3 and three run under the total. So that's the way I look at this game. That's also going to be my best bet, Louisville-Miami under the total. All right, Sean, do you have a best bet going on the weekend card? Yeah, I'm going to stick with South Carolina. I'm just going to go, I mean, that home opener thing under Sperrier. He's always been a moneymaker just about every year he's been in coaching, certainly at this program. He's put him on the map. Nobody even heard of South Carolina before he got there. I don't see them really having a big problem with Texas A&M, so I'm going to lay the 10.5 or 11 with uh, South Carolina. Okay, and Jeff Side, you're on a 56 and 32 baseball run. Your play is going in a couple of different sports going this weekend. How can folks uh, get in touch with you and get on these winning selections? Yeah, just go to jimfeist.com for all the information. Last year in college football, 75, 53, 59%. As you said, in baseball, since July 26, 64%, 56, and 32. You want to get plays every day, college football, NFL, baseball, just go to jimfeist.com and, and look for LBSS. All right, if you go to JimFeist.com right now, you see Jim Feist Thursday, three-team power parlay. It's three games all on the Thursday card, all three for 25 bucks, along with a high roller TV total. That's in a major conference, the SEC. That is also available now. And for Friday, he's got a college football rivalry game of the month. Those plays and more at JimFeist.com. Make sure you get on board with these Vegas experts, and we'll see you next week with another edition of the college football version of ProLine. We'll see you then. 